so uh, it's time to wake up Portland police. That's what people are getting. Who's stuff? I don't know. So, Officer Crooker is waking people up, saying, Portland police, wake up. And I asked him, is it just the loading zone? Hi. So, that was that. I just woke people up. People are up. Pick up your stuff for Mike. And then he leaves. However, the next step is that Officer Palmeter, this is his beat apparently. He comes in and he's very aggressive. <sighs> I don't. I was going to leave because I thought that they weren't going to do this this morning. So, um, 99. So he does his duty of waking everyone up, telling them to pick up their stuff. And then, without checking to see if they go back to bed, he just takes off. Takes off. Crooker does. Yeah, Crooker. That right there. After that comes Palmeter, half hour later. Uh, not no, Palmeter. No. Crooker comes four days, Palmeter, don't nothing. nothing. Just this. Just this. Yeah. But we're expecting something else tomorrow. Palmeter must not work the weekend. He must be Monday There Monday. might be more to it. This didn't, you know, it started with, uh, remember I told you the last time we really got really hassled was uh, when, when I said 15 officers came up? Yeah. That's the last time we got hassled. And then, so, the next day, like this young rookie came up all by himself, green. You could tell this dude was it. He was young. He was, looked like he was just new to the force. Okay. And, 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 and he was so green, he walked all the way around City Hall. Hey, Across the street, yeah. walked up that way, wow. came back down, and, uh, and went home. Or wherever he went, he left. And then, the next day, this guy came home. Which guy? The guy who just left. Kirk. Okay. Yeah, it's been like that ever since. You say it's been like that ever since um, me and Colonel went and talked to that attorney. And now we have to figure out what they're doing. What they're doing because <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> I was optimistic, but uh, now not. Who was it who just asked me if I talked to Colonel? Was it John, maybe? Um, I don't know. But somebody said he came looking for you and that he's going to be back because the city said that, yes, indeed, they have rezoned the entire thing in response to us as a pedestrian use only zone, this whole block. And that's so extremely illegal. And now I'm back to, I'm going to see the crap out of the city. So, uh, I need to talk to Colonel, but, um, the gist of it is, is that Colonel's expecting enforcement tomorrow morning on a bigger scale. Well, that guy really should watch his step because he is personally harassing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he doesn't watch it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, city officers now can be sued no matter what Portland tries to say. You were in here when they had all those balloons up here. And he was pop popping them. Just maniacally. And, like and you, said that, you said that, you said that, Steve from in the office came out and started yeah. popping them oh, yeah, with him like a little, little kid? Yeah. yeah. 
Like a little kid, yeah, little like malicious little yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. I why Joe's running around saying, Nick, like stop, Daddy, so make him stop. <laughs> <laughs> Did he, was he? That's so funny. This is our Joe. So, uh, wow. Nobody, nobody had the camera on. So. It was priceless. It was priceless footage. I mean, you could have sold that footage. But, you know, I mean, especially cause they were red our white, lawyer. They were red, white, and blue, and you stab it. Great. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was just Nazism to, to the back. Well, you know, these cameras are black and white, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> but we can get those footage. But we have to get a subpoena and get it fast. Oh, you want that footage? Because he was going at it. I mean, he was... And he popped out to keep that big old knife right here. And... Well, you know... I don't know if that was when 99 was off at jail, but you know they took his phone. No, 99 was here. He was here. He was here. But he hadn't gotten his stuff. Stabbing. I don't know about the second step. He hadn't. He hadn't gotten his stuff back. No. So our phone and our live stream capability was stolen by the police. Oh, that's what. That's what. Um, which is exactly part of my lawsuit because you know that Monday. Um, was the day after the Sunday Oregonian, which was the second printing of our piece on Vigil TV, yeah. which is when we would expect people to be watching Vigil TV yeah. and when they stole our camera for three days. So we lost all of that potential viewership, but we'll get a lot more viewership when I sue the crap out of the city. I'm really looking forward to it now. I started calming down hearing that they were going to uh, rethink this whole sidewalk business, but... Were you here, Barry? Which when? Mom, where was it? I'm in the morning. No. Oh, God. I was here that morning. Well, you did it. Good morning. <laughs> no common sense. They just... It's like the thing in their lives that's missing is a big hefty civil case. Well, I don't know. Anybody who's been following my life recently, <laughs> I've been not dropping a bone once I pick it up. <laughs> I mean, going around amping up about this lawsuit, you've probably heard it before. Oh, I'm going to sue, I'm going to sue, I'm going to sue. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to sue. I'm going to sue whether they stop it today or they keep going because they're actually they're just giving us more footage for the lawsuit every day. Part of my lawsuit is for the fact that our Portland police um, attracts a bad element now because they're being used for what they're being used for but there are still good cops I believe and those people are being asked to be janitors on human beings instead of fighting crime and I believe Officer Crooker is one of those people who knows it because of his reaction which you can actually watch watch interview with Officer Crooker watch what happens this guy wanted to go on and get this thing over with so he could go to a rape call and the city sent him back over with different ordinances after we talked back to the first ones. Told him, oh, we'll try this. <laughs> try this one on him. This guy just wanted to leave and do his job, and he couldn't. So this lawsuit, by redirecting the police force to fight crime, would, would actually benefit. To fight crime, to fight real crime. Right. I'm thinking that there's a lot of police people who would probably like to be able to not be doing this shit. Right. That well, guy is one of them. Yeah, I'm going to say that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face when the city gave him more things to try on us when I backed him off the first one, when I brought out that book and I started reading yeah. him about the city ordinance. Or some other guy. Crooker. 
Colorado. He had to go back over there and say something to him, probably that it's not working. Right. <laughs> and they came out and they gave him something else to tell me. And then he just kind of hung his head and goes, Mumbled. look, the reason that you're probably getting so much attention is because you're in the loading zone. And I said, well, I'll get out of the loading zone because I like to share. Right. And I did. And he's like, thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious. He, hey, it's funny how he does it. When he comes in and he does his, his thing, and, you know, I'm expecting him, you know, because, like, look, look, look at, look at him. They rolled over, went back to sleep, you know, and I guess his tactic when he jumped on his phone, like he was making us think he was calling somebody else, but now, uh, without uh, trying to be in uh, Well, he intrusive. got a phone call, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say that phone call sounded personal. So I backed out of it. <laughs> yeah. No, he got a, a business call or whatever. But, you know, um, that, that, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm good with not it's, being in the loading zone. Right. It's a weekend, right? I'm going to say So it, it it's a not a, a problem. But, yeah. I mean, I'm okay problem. with moving at 7 a.m. over there. Of course, right. You know, no and, problem. And which, which anybody. Should. I can demonstrate. It's, it's I can not, walk around. It's not hard to get up, roll your shit up, and probably walk five steps and right. plop back down. No problem. You know. I mean, if somebody wants to sleep like right here in a demonstration because they want their sign and they want it in front of city hall and right. the public to see, right. one person can do that. They should be able to, you know, that... We're not hurting anything, and it's not. it's the place to do it. So, uh, we're, we're not definitely. Uh, you know what? This is a, another way to say that he wasn't trying to be an asshole. He could have said something about your parking. You know? He could have said you've been here all night. Oh, um, you can be. Um... This is a five-minute zone. Oh, not in the... The parking people told me that between the hours of 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. only. Right. After that, no problem. Right. And uh, today's a weekend, Sunday. They don't even enforce these meters until 1 p.m. Right. So I'm actually good here, even though it's not five minutes. Oh, right on. That's good. Yeah. At least that's what, you know... The traffic people told me. This guy is not alone. I'm not trying to single him out because I don't want to put him at odds with other people he works with. I'm saying there's a lot of cops right now who are probably getting inundated with thugs because the policy is what's attracting. I mean, if, if you want to be a cop to help your neighbors and fight crime, you're going to go to a city where that's what cops do. Or uh, you're not going to, if you want to stay home where you are and that's not what cops do, you're not going to want a job there. So if we have better jobs descriptions, then we have better cops. If we have worse job descriptions, if, if it's to, to act like the clean and safe thugs and wake people up, kick them awake, hassle them, and if they sass you and they don't even know who you are, uh, take them to jail. You know? I mean, you saw, I don't, I don't know if you saw it. No, you didn't, because I couldn't get on fast enough. You know, he's like, Portland police, wake up. And he kind of gently pushed his foot at somebody, but, you know, that's after they wouldn't move. After several, hello. But uh, that's not what everyone gets. They get, you know, a harder kick, no warning, and a person sasses, says something like, get off of me, not even knowing this isn't a robber or a rapist or whatever that they've been dealing with every night. Um, you know, they don't know it's a cop half asleep, sleep deprived, rained on, and they get taken to jail for not being immediately up and out with a smile. Jail. So, uh, anyway, 
You know, after this interview I did on OPN, I'm repeating myself on anything that I ever say. <laughs> it's had 90 minutes so fuck, so I should just send you that. It's on Twitter, the link. But, uh, yeah, o-p-n.org interview with Mary Nichols from Occupy Portland. Vigil. And uh, our Twitter is also listed as all of our Twitters are listed, all of the camera folks that have Twitters are, are listed on VigilTV.com, plus some resources. Okay, so let me make sure that uh, 99 is good to go. The hot spot. I don't know. Okay, so your phone's all charged up. Oh, Have you gotten it back for me yet? No. Okay, let me get it. So if they come, they're going to come in the next 15 minutes or however long, right? Yeah. Or they're not coming? They're not going to come. He came yesterday. It's a routine. Okay. And, uh, and he just said it, just like that they do every day. Right. And for the last four days, this is what he's been doing. It's been him. Uh, I'm going to say since... Um, the last time I seen Palmer was, uh... That day of the 16, 15 cops you yeah, saw. Yeah, Which I was there for, but I didn't see them all. That was the night that I slept through the first round. That was the night you slept through, and then Palmer came in. He didn't even talk to nobody. He went in. Went oh, that's in. when I sat back down. We yeah. had that discussion about that. Yeah. That was a good one. That was fun. And that wasn't even Palmer he was talking to. No, it wasn't. It was Sergeant Jeffrey Helrich. Helfrich. Helf Helfrich. Helfrich. Who goes on our program and says, This isn't a demonstration. He said, This isn't a demonstration. He said a bunch of stupid, ignorant, prejudicial crap that I have on TV and I'm going to use as a basis of my lawsuit in addition to all the other stupid, prejudicial crap. Yeah. I want to talk to Colonel because he's working on it. And i got to find out where he's at with that. Oh. All right. So, uh, I think my job right now is to load and catch up on Vigil TV. All right. Um, well, I, I need that lady to know how to get to the Vigil or how to how to choose videos. That, okay. Different lady. Lady who talked to me was about suing the city for our protest harassment monetary. The lady, the guy that Colonel talked to is about your case for your court. Right. So, Colonel's a person, and I'm going to talk to him, too, because... He knows how to get up, he knows how to upload the videos and stuff? You know, he keeps asking me for links, and I keep trying to tell him, dude, it's all on visualtv.com, but I think he wants me to spoon it, like, in a smaller thing. So, I'll, I'll find out what he needs exactly. Okay. But I, I think all I have to do, all I have to do is talk to whoever and let them know where I put those videos right. and see if they have any questions you know about finding it because it's easier than me sending them 40 links it's easier for me to just tell them you know all the videos that say police or officer 
you know, in the last 90 days or whatever. That's easier. If you guys uh, want to, you can go check it out. Um, just go through visualtv.com, look at the... Uh, you can see the highlights videos, but then for the more current stuff, while I'm catching up on making the highlights videos, you can look at the archive. And this last couple of weeks, there's a few that mention the PPB, Portland Police Bureau, the word police, the word officer, City Hall uh, harassment, all that stuff, all that stuff. Gary. Make yourself at homeless. Oh God. I've lost a lot of things, but now my sense of humor, my biting wit. <laughs> We're still working on the unhouse orbing gift. Oh, whip cream? Is there still some in there? Yep. What would an unhouse warming gift be? Usually for a house warming, you give a plant. Or a rug. Yeah, I, or a uh, rug. So maybe a trowel? I think you got it. Did you see, did you see Happy Birthday to Nick Fish? Uh -oh. uh, that's got to be its own. That's got to be a ten video. Yeah. Just that. Us singing happy birthday to Oh, birthday. highlight video of just the happy birthday part. Absolutely. I'll, I'll get right on that. But yeah, those videos well, are... Well, we have to email to staff. Yeah, I promised you. I promised you I would do that. But then I got chicken. I was oh, like... Oh, I have a better one. I was like scared to do I that. Have, well, I so have that's why... Best, I have a better that's one. That's why you guys should make a... a what are those things called? Book writers write out of them. Oh, uh, uh, alias. Yeah. Yeah. What? A pen name. Pen name. Oh. Well, we have, I mean, I have the uh, Occupy Portland Gmail for, I mean, for the vigil. OPDX Vigil TV. Well, that's, if you don't want him to Gmail. know where it came from, you'd... Well, a, it's obviously from us. Because we were singing happy birthday. Well, the, the coordinating committee to end homelessness is meeting on Wednesday the 17th from 3 to 5. In between 4... Who's five, part of the committee? 4.50. Bunch of people getting rich off keeping people it's homeless? The, oh, it's the implementing, okay. They're implementing the 10-year plan to end, end homelessness. The, oh, the right. 17th, the 18th the 17th, year of the 10-year plan? Well, anyhow, the... Uh, <laughs> plan that everybody they have who have community announcements oh right when is it next meeting Wednesday the 17th between 3 and 5 we should do that and go there and, and, and do the Nick Fish birthday oh just, just play that right Even the audio at least the audio I think the video do the video, that hurt. But, you know, it's, it's How would we do that? Yeah. We'd have to have Munjin sneak in his projector. <laughs> Don't think so. Just like, yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, the audio. I wonder what happened with his. Do you think he really had a dream when he had that thing that people were quoting him all the time about? Do you think his dream got squashed? Mm -hmm. Relaxing the relaxing the rules for the people who have no choice alternative but to sleep outside. Well, do you think that his dream got squashed? Do you think that was just tripe? Yeah, I think that no, was just um, some, some, uh, Here's what they figured out. His acceptance speech or his speech to get, get elected. <laughs> we, have, we have two significant problems in Portland. One is a housing crisis. One is uh, a large number of meth 